Golly, this thing's huge. All right, so here we are. We are five days away from leaving. Tracy convinced me to buy the largest tent possible for any person <laughs> to own. <laughs> Full disclosure, so this is insight into how my personality works. Uh, like lots of things end up stressing me out. I like very simple. So like the roof rack, the tent, I've been procrastinating on getting those things because I know they're going to be more work and effort. On well, and they're kind of expensive, so not like the, the cost, super pumped honestly, about it. I would pay <laughs> twice as much for that tent if all I had to do was press a button and it was just poof and it just <laughs> pops up on the back of my car. There you go. Product idea out there yep. for you. So if anybody has, if anybody wants to collaborate on a one button set up yourself tent, I'm totally down to uh, brainstorm with you. That's right. But so what we got was this Napier SUV tent. So it's incredibly massive from what I can tell when you set it up, it's bigger than the car itself, uh, but it does attach to the back of the SUV. So we can put a little mattress in the back of the SUV, sleep inside of there. And then in theory, we can still work inside of the tent. Yeah. So he keeps saying that it's, it's huge. It is huge, way more than two people need, but it's got this nifty like little extra room that I figured if both of us are working one day and we need to take calls because we are still working full time, one of us can go into the little screen room and not be disrupted by the dog or the other person. It also functions as a standalone tent. So right. like if okay. we wanted to go out traveling one day, we didn't have to completely break the tent down or leave a gaping hole in the side of it. Right. Um, you can zip up the, the little sleeve part and it functions as a, a standalone, in theory. So what we're going to do right now before we hit the road, and I end up having to do this in a tight pinch, you know, in theory at some state park, is we're going to go out in the backyard and we're going to set this thing up and see how difficult and stressful it is to set up and also how stressful it is to put back in the bag. Um, that's probably going to be the stressful part. That's probably going to be the stressful part because those suckers never fit back into the tiny bags that they give you. But that's what we're going to go do. Right. I'm almost certain the stuff's not going to fit back into the yes. bag after I put it together because I can't even get it out of the bag. Look and it. I'm also anticipating it's going to be kind of a pain to set up. So, Also, disregard the pog in the back, functioning as a cow. Oh, that's why I couldn't get it. The zipper actually goes all the way down. You're doing great. I was saying there's instructions somewhere. There's no instructions. Right there. Instructions are on the inside of the bag. They're attached. Yes. Maybe they're meant to rip off. Or maybe they're meant to stay attached so you don't lose them. No candles or matches, boo. No candles or matches. Okay. Check. I think I'm just going to wing it. Lay this thing is huge. How am I ever sleeve? going to fold this back up? Oh my gosh. What did boo do? What did you do? I don't think it's gonna be that hard. I feel like this is bigger than a parachute. All right, so insert a fiberglass pole into the pole sleeve on the roof of the tent. Place one end into the center hub and the other end into the starred end of the corner joint. Got a dome. Buggy can fit in there. Yeah, that's the buggy. The buggy compartment. She's just over there eating. I know grass. she's living it up. She's gonna get sick. All right. Step four: insert one end of the steel pole into the corner joint. On the opposite end of the pole, insert the pin into the grommet hole. Is that Sesame Street grommet? I think it's grommet. Located. Isn't it? in the corner of the tent. Repeat for the other three steel poles. Up, 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 Going up. up. Uh, and then these will clip Slap. on. I don't think it's as hard as it looks. 
we'll see. It's really tall. Yeah. I think we might have conferences in here. <laughs> Jeez. Freaking huge, man. Right. Slide the long fiberglass pole through the sleeve located above the screen room door. So it goes through the sleeve and into the joints. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard, honestly. No. That, the bottom's waterproof, right? Yeah. It's supposed to be. Insert a blue screen pole with the metal hook into the corner, the opposite pin end of the pole into the grommet hole diagonally at the bottom corner of the tent. Golly, this thing's huge. It's nice though. It's a fancy tent. Open the back hatch of your vehicle, move the tent towards the cargo area of your vehicle, slip the sleeve under the bumper and over the hatch and roof. We couldn't get the car down here to test that part out. But supposedly this is supposed to go up and hook around the car hatch. But for another day, yeah, we'll when we first use time. it. Yeah. My biggest thing was I wanted to see how long it takes to set up and then how to put it back in the bag. All right, so we just hooked it up to the car and ensure the exhaust pipe is outside of the sleeve. <laughs> Be smart. Looks like hooking it up to the car is the hardest part. Good thing we got the roof rack. It's much harder without the roof rack. You have to hook it to the uh, hood. hood. Yep. And then there's a rain fly that you attach. So that's literally it. I'm not going to stake it down today. What are those two poles for? It's a great question. I'm glad you asked. The awning. You got us an awning? Place the end of the pole with the pin through the grommet hole at the corner of the awning. Huh? So it's coming off of the opposite side. Of okay. <laughs> there is no awning. You sure it's just not like rolled up into that other bag with the rain fly? Unless it's part of the rain fly. Alright, so it looks like we have to unzip the awning. Yeah. Yeah, so. You put that on there and then there are these little doohickeys. Little caps. That hold it on. So we'll save it for another day? Yep. Did it come with this Ziploc bag? It's weird. So once you get in here, this right here will be where the SUV hooks up and we'll have our bed and everything set up in there. So we can set up workspaces and kind of all of our crap out here. And then this is kind of another separate little screen room where one of us could sit as needed to take calls um, and not be disrupted by the dog or the other person. So pretty exciting. It's also like really tall in here. I don't think I've ever been in inside a tent this tall, but that's really nice. How's it going, boo? hot yeah pants was a bad choice this is the ultimate test right here yeah. seeing how it all fits back together yeah. you know what guys I think I'm gonna do it I think I'm gonna be able to get it back in <laughs> Did you want to put the foam ends over those caps? Over Did they those come with foam ends? Tent poles again, yeah. Okay. Alright. Yeah. 
My hands aren't big enough. Oh, good grief. We wouldn't need to put those back in if it's too hard to fit everything back in. Yeah. We got plenty of room in the roof rack, that's for sure. Nailed it. Ta da! <laughs> Alright, I got shorts on because I'm freaking hot after that. <laughs> There you go. The bag's looking a little more bulgy. Yeah, so as you saw, we didn't, we weren't able to fit it all back in the bag pretty much exactly how I expected it to go. Wonder if I made it happen. I didn't roll the tent up properly, so it's chunkier and shorter than it should be. Um, but that's fine because we'll just put the tent poles in the roof rack because they're in a waterproof bag themselves. So the setup of it, um, doesn't appear to be as difficult as I anticipated it would be. Uh, we didn't put, we obviously we didn't set it up on the car. Right. So that's probably going to add another 10 to 15 minutes, that part of it. We didn't stake it all out. So yeah, I imagine it's going to take us a total of about 30 to 40 minutes all said and done to set that sucker up. At least the first couple times The first probably. couple of times, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, all in all, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm excited to use it. We'll see. Maybe we'll do an updated review of it after we actually get it in it a couple times. Yeah, and use it. Yeah. Test it out for real. Um, maybe we'll do it when we're up in Maine. Yeah. Don't so yeah, guess. stay posted. So we still need to get a mattress. <laughs> yes. Probably need a little card table too. We don't have any tables to work. In There's like little... these little tiny like camping ones that we could set up for our desks and move around. Okay. But we might need a couple of them because we both have a couple monitors and stuff. We don't even have anywhere to plug those in. Right. Well, that's a whole other thing. <laughs>